get daily updates directly to your inbox plus subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. Could not subscribe. Try again later invalid email. The streets of West London were littered with surprised faces when the QPR team sheet was released. Shortly before kickoff, fans of the hoops are used to Ian Holloway changing his attacking line. But no one expected to see the name of Paul Smith. Connor Washington seems to have fallen out of favor. And with Idris Asilla and Matt Smith misfiring, Ollie clearly saw it as an ideal opportunity to take a risk. It's safe to say the 20-year-old didn't disappoint. Image. Getty Images Europe. Despite his slight frame, Smith more than held his own against a giant Cardiff defense, using his pace to unsettle the experienced defense. On numerous occasions the Northern Irish youngster looked confident bringing the ball down, before using his agility to run at the visitors, something which we really haven't seen a huge amount of in recent months. However, it wasn't just enthusiasm that he showed, as Smith showed his technical ability with a number of teasing crosses. Although he arguably could have done better with a half chance which landed on a plate for him in the first half, Smith looks like a confident lad, as he barked orders at the midfield and showed constant hunger to get on the ball, clearing embracing the vocal support of the home crowd. QPR boss describes ex-Linfield man Paul Smith as a breath of fresh air after match-winning display against Cardiff. The only thing that was missing from his game was a goal, something which he took care of with a fine solo goal in the second half, leading to wild celebrations as he somersaulted towards the home fans in the corner. I don't think anyone would have predicted that he would be QPR's star of the show today. And as much as it shows a lack of faith in the club's senior attackers, it clearly shows them the team's youngsters may be worth taking a look at in order for QPR to move themselves up the championship. For a first professional appearance, Smith certainly looked comfortable at this level, and it'll be interesting to see whether Ollie looks to give him another go in the FA Cup on Saturday.